Hey there! In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys four epic Herzegovina day trips that you can take from Sarajevo or Mostar or even Dubrovnik. Dubrovnik's only about an hour to two hours from most of these destinations as well. But first, if you're brand new here, Cheers, Jivili. This is Wando. Oh, I forgot. Jivili is how you say cheers in Serbia, which is where I live, which allows me to travel and make videos about the Balkans. But in most of these Herzegovina destinations, the dominant ethnic group are Croats, Croatians. Not all of Herzegovina, but the ones I'm gonna share. And the way that you say cheers in Croatia is Jivili not Jiveli. <laughs> okay, back to these destinations. So most of them are 20 to 45 minutes from Mostar, so it's very easy to hit up all of them pretty much in one day. I'll link to the tour company that I went with in the description below, although I'm not sure that they're doing English language tours at the moment, unfortunately, especially in the year of COVID. So obviously you can also rent a car, and I've linked in the description to the website where I find the best car rental deals. So let's get started. First destination is the Neum. Neum is the only town to be situated on Bosnia and Herzegovina's 12 miles of coastline. That's about 20 kilometers. So it's Bosnia and Herzegovina's only access to the sea. And Neum sits between two Croatian border crossings, so it makes a lot of sense that almost 100% of Neum's small population are Croats. It's also only about 60 kilometers from Dubrovnik. It's about 35 miles. So it's a great easy day trip from Dubrovnik. I love Neum because it's kind of in this weird location so it's not obvious and it's this overlooked beach town by tourists. So when you go there, you're just vacationing with the other locals in the area and you feel like a local. I met so many locals when I was there and I have a video about that. I'll link to it in the description below. So you really get this authentic beach town vibe of what it's like to be down by the sea if you were actually living in this place without all of the Western travelers. Naeem is also where I spent the night when I did this trip. So I found a guest room on booking.com, which is great for finding accommodations in places where there's not so many hotels and hostels. So I'll link to that in the description as well for Neum as well as the rest of the destinations in this video. Next is Pochitel. Pochitel. Oh, the hardest letters to say just all happen to be in that word. But nevertheless, Pochitel is my favorite. So it's 40 minutes from Mostar, it's about two and a half hours from Sarajevo, and it's this beautiful medieval village that's just sitting on top of a hill overlooking the left bank of the Neretva River. Oh, it's gorgeous. Walking up its old cobblestone steps, I felt like I was in a scene in Game of Thrones, in like Bravos or something. You know, when Arya gets in the fight with the waif. It felt like that. So the fortified town of Pochitel was built by the Bosnian king, the first sometime in 1383 and during the years following the Ottoman conquest of Bosnia in the 15th century the town was further fortified by the ruler Vladislav Herzegovic with the support of Dubrovnik the Hungarian king and the Pope and the town remained in the Ottoman Empire until 1878 so if you love a medieval town in the mountains you will love Pochitel Next is Blagaj, which is only 15 minutes from Mostar and two hours from Sarajevo. So Blagaj is a small village situated at the spring of the Buna River and it's famous for the historical monastery that's built like just into the, there's like a vertical cliff over top of the spring and yeah, the monastery is just kind of like built into it. It's super cool. It was built in 1520 and it has elements of Ottoman architecture as well as Mediterranean style architecture. Now, because there is a strong karstic spring that sits below the cave on that vertical uh, cliff, 
it has really amazing spring water and so it's custom to take a sip of the spring water. So I took a sip um, with my tour guide and yeah, I didn't die because I read online that some, some people said that they got sick or something or some people in their tour group got sick. So I'm not here saying like, that's impossible, but I personally didn't get sick. So I thought it was a fun custom. Last but not least, definitely not least, are the Kravitsa waterfalls, a large cascade that falls onto the Trebijat River. It's about 45 minutes from Mostar and it's about two and a half hours driving from Sarajevo. I am in shock. This is just so insane. It's like a light rain and it's all kind of <laughs> spilling on me now and it's like whew, kind of kind of breezy but so beautiful. Look how turquoise this water is. <sighs> Balkans is so beautiful. So naturally beautiful. You can find there a little cafe, a rope swing, a picnic area, and a place to camp. You will love it there. There's not so many tourists, and you kind of feel like you have this beautiful natural wonder all to yourself. So I have a playlist in the description, my Bosnia and Herzegovina travel videos, if you want to check out some other places that I've been to. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, I appreciate you guys watching this far, and comment below if you have any questions. And again, je viens <laughs> and bye.